Today's fuel pumps sure have a lot of information on them, but those pumps also give you a lot of choices, and that's a good thing. If you know what all those numbers and names mean, you can make a more informed decision about the fuel you put in your tank. Sure, price is a factor. It always is. But you'll also want to think about engine performance, air quality, environmental impact, and what goes into the fuel itself. Let's start with those big numbers on the pump. 87, 88, 91. They indicate the octane rating of the fuel. The higher the number, the more efficiently the fuel combusts in the engine. You may have heard about engine knocking. Well, that's what can happen when the fuel combusts too early. Fuel with an octane rating of 87 works well in most vehicles. More on octane in a moment. Now, let's look at the range of fuel choices you have when you pull up to the pump. Unleaded, with an octane rating of 86 or 87, is the most commonly used fuel in the United States, since it's approved for all cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs, even lawnmowers, boats, and motorcycles. Unleaded contains 10% ethanol, so it's sometimes called E10. Ethanol is a clean burning fuel made from corn grown right here at home. Unleaded 88, or E15, is rapidly becoming the fuel of choice for many drivers thanks to its higher octane and competitive price. Unleaded 88 is a blend of 15% ethanol and 85% gasoline and is approved for use in 2001 model year or newer vehicles. However, unleaded 88 is not currently recommended for motorcycles, boats, or small engines. E85 contains up to 85% ethanol. E85 should only be used in flex fuel vehicles, FFVs, and since there are a lot of them on the road today, you might be driving one. Check your owner's manual or driver's side window for a decal. You might also have a yellow gas cap or an insignia on your vehicle. With a flex fuel vehicle, you can fill up with any fuel blend from regular unleaded to unleaded 88, all the way up to E85. And you can fill up with any amount of any blend at any time, giving you the ultimate flexibility in fuel choice, price, and performance. Premium unleaded can also contain up to 10% ethanol, but it's usually only recommended for sports or luxury cars with high compression engines. Unless your owner's manual specifies premium fuel, you're probably better off choosing a less expensive option, like unleaded 88. You might also see diesel fuel at the pump, which can only be used in diesel engines. Diesel fuel may contain up to 20% biodiesel, a renewable fuel made from a variety of sources, from soybean oil to distiller's corn oil to used cooking oils and animal fats. Now let's circle back to those octane numbers for a moment. There are a couple of ways to increase octane in fuel. One way is to add a cocktail of toxic components to gasoline. Unfortunately, these chemicals don't burn completely in the engine, so what's left due to poor combustion leaves the tailpipe and enters the air in the form of tiny harmful particles that can lead to heart disease, respiratory problems, and brain and lung cancer. The alternative is to add clean burning ethanol to the fuel. Ethanol is a natural octane booster with extra oxygen that helps fuel burn more completely in the engine and reduces harmful tailpipe emissions. The math is simple. The more ethanol there is in your fuel, the fewer toxic emissions come out of the tailpipe. So more ethanol means cleaner air for all of us to breathe. In fact, ethanol is so clean that the American Lung Association recognizes ethanol as a clean air choice alternative. Cleaner, healthier air is just one significant benefit of choosing fuel that contains ethanol. Ethanol reduces harmful greenhouse gas emissions by nearly half compared to straight gasoline. Simply using ethanol in our fuel supply results in the equivalent of removing 11.5 million cars from the road for a year. So ethanol is not just good for human health, it's good for the health of our planet as well. We make ethanol right here in America. Producing this renewable fuel generates homegrown jobs and improves the local economy. 
Fossil fuels are in limited supply. They also release carbon trapped deep below the surface into the atmosphere. Ethanol, on the other hand, is a renewable biofuel made from plants that cycle carbon as they grow and produce a much cleaner burning fuel. Most ethanol is made from corn, an abundant renewable resource that we produce year after year after year. While we may eventually run out of oil, we're probably never going to run out of corn. When we turn corn into ethanol, are we turning food into fuel? Far from it. The corn used to make ethanol is field corn, not the sweet corn that people typically eat. Ethanol made from field corn just uses the starch that makes up two-thirds of a kernel. The remaining protein and fiber become nutritious animal feed for beef cattle, dairy cows, pigs, and poultry. So when we make ethanol, we're not just making fuel, we're also making feed and food, all from the same kernel of corn. With so many different options, you'll want to choose the fuel that makes the most sense for you. Your wallet, your engine, your carbon footprint, and the quality of the air you breathe. And of course, always check your owner's manual to confirm the fuel choices recommended by the manufacturer. So fill up with clean burning ethanol blends and drive safely.